हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल आर्ज पीरिया लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर आर्किटेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ फ्लोर्स इन डिज़ाइन सो बेसिकली वाट हैपन्स वी आर गिविन विद अ साइट सो लेट्स एज्यूम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर हैविंग अ साइट वी आर द साइट डायमेंशंस आर टेन मीटर by 20 meter so while we are designing it uh, we should know how many floors we can go uh, and that can be definitely derived from our calculation and another thing is that sometimes uh, the height restrictions are already mentioned in the bylaws of the local authority depending upon the places or which place you refer actually so now we in this particular video just we are talking about the calculation how to proceed with the calculation we are not going to refer any 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 um, local authority norm book so just look uh, here how we can do the calculation to know how many floors we can construct within the site so here the site dimensions are 10 meter by 20 meter so let's say the site area will be 10 by 20 so this will be 200 square meter so for the calculation of number of floors you require additional data that definitely that will be mentioned in the bylaws book so you have to refer the bylaws book again the two data which is required that is the ground coverage gc it is always mentioned in the percentage maybe let's assume here it is 40% in this case the ground coverage we are considering is 40% that means this area 10 by 20 meter we can build only the 40% of the entire area means this is the ground coverage remaining we have to left out whatever you want to do but we can't construct any permanent structure over there you can use it for the parking you can use it for the greenery or any use but not the permanent structure over there so this point this data you have to refer from the bylaws now coming to the number 2 that is far far in this particular case let's assume we are considering 2 as far so now what we have to do we got the area of the site that is 200 square meter so the 40% of the 200 square meter will be 80 square meter this is the gc that means maximum we can build on this site 80 square meter this is the space which we can occupy on this site so now we are coming to the calculation for the number of floors so the number of floors before proceeding to the number of floors we should know how much is the total built up area so total built up area total built up area is nothing just a multiplication of the site area by fr site area multiplied by fr so here the site area is 200 square meter and fr is 2 so 2 multiplied by 200 that is 400 square meter so the total built up area is 400 square meters remember these two data that is required 80 square meter and 400 square meter here 80 square meter is the ground coverage and 400 is the total built up area total built up area means how much you can build on this particular site considering this ground coverage boundary you are not supposed to construct anything beyond the site uh, this uh, ground coverage boundary but this is the maximum limit which you can construct uh, maybe one floor two floor three floors till the time you cannot achieve your total built up area this is the maximum permissible you are supposed to construct so now coming to the number of floors floors is equal to total built up area upon gc in our case the total built up area is 400 square meter by 80 so that means the 
scale five five floors so in this site the maximum number of floors that we can construct is five floors so this is the calculation for how to calculate number of floors thank you very much stay with us we will definitely come back soon for the next video thank you very much